On Alexandra Street, uh, there is a offset crown uh, around uh, this curve here. So what we've done is we've created a alignment uh, called offset. And what I'm going to do is take, if we have a look at the cross section here, what I'm going to do is take the existing uh, cross four that we've, we've got and I'm going to project that up to this blue line which represents the uh, position of the offset crown. So this code here is my center line. Uh, the offset uh, resides um, currently in the left uh, area um, of my, my template. So as I said, we're going to take these uh, this crossfall here of, of uh, on this particular section, it's 3.31%, and then project it up until it meets um, uh, this blue alignment here, which is our new offset crown. And it'll do that um, where that offset alignment exists. So in order to do this, we're going to open up the design data form for Alexandra Street. And I'm going to insert a new code. So insert section. This will be positioned on the left hand side um, before the LEB. The new code I'll call LCL. And I'll put it in to go along the entire length. The width, I'll put it at 0.01. So it'll be basically along the center line, but later on we're going to widen it out um, onto this blue alignment here. In regards to the slope, I'm going to set that at zero, and I'll set the, the plot flag to be yes, and add update. So the next thing we're going to do is create a string out of this uh, alignment that we've got here uh, called offset. Um, I'll set the, the sampling to be at about one meter and click OK. So what we want to do with this string is we want to set the levels for the string um, so that they are a projection of um, the crossfall between the center line and the R uh, saw 2 code. So we're going to revisit the reference line tool to do this. So remember, anything to do with automating a vertical design, uh, you want to use this um, Compute VC option. So we're going to open up reference line. The levels that we're using are design levels, and we're going to grab uh, a crossfall from the Alexandra Street um, uh, road. In order to... Uh, set the slope, we're going to use two point option and we're going to say that we want the software to grab the slope between the center line and the RSAW2 code and we want to project that at a reverse slope onto our string. So we set the change range for that. We'll just do it the whole length. It's only going to do it where our string exists. So on the Alexandra Street from the codes between center line and RSAW2, grab that slope and reverse it up and project it onto our string. So if we click OK to that and apply an exit, the software will output a report, uh, but you can see here uh, the software has added some IPs around where our, um, our string exists. What we need to do now is open up the design data form for Alexandra and we need to tell the software to grab that LC code, LCL code that we created and change its offset and level onto the string. So we add a variation in set code offset and or levels to string and I tell the software grab the LCL code the whole length whenever you find the alignment change offset and level to the uh, offset string and add update to that. And you can see there now that our new offset is uh, a projection from uh, the slope derived 
between center line and R saw 2. So that center line you can see is adopting the offset controlled by the alignment and the slope is taken from that cross fall.